Hello and welcome to this video about a simple flower farm that I built. With it, I can get different dyes for dyeing materials, like concrete, wool or terracotta. The first farm I built, is in a windswept hills biome, and the flowers growing there, are dandelion and poppy. When something grows in front of the observer, it gives out a signal, that travels via the redstone trail to the sticky pistons, that get extended, and to the dropper that will drop a new bone meal on me. It's very important to set the closest repeater to setting 3, or else the farm won't work properly. When the sticky pistons pushes the grass blocks forward, everything growing on them, will detach from the blocks. Be sure to fill the whole lower bar with other items, except for one that should hold the bone meal. <laughs> to automate the farming, press F3 and then T, while holding the mouse button pressed. Then you can release the mouse button, and the farming will continue by itself. To end the farming, move the mouse away from the grass, and click the mouse buttons once. Then you can collect all the flowers and grass scattered around the farm. Observe that you should not farm more than 5 minutes at a time, because after 5 minutes the floating items begin to despawn. I have built a similar farm on a plains biome a bit away from here. Let's go there and take a look at it. In this biome these five flowers can be found. Cornflower, Azure Bluet, Dandelion, Oxeye Daisy, and Poppy. The construction of the farm is almost exactly the same as the other one, except the placement of the pressure plate. Sometimes the grass on the middle grass block disappears. I then have to wait for the grass to grow back, or I can replace the dirt block with a new grass block. And that's all. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, a thumb up for it would make me very happy. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.